human factor is the common denominator of every runway incursion at the end of code. Page two, runway safety blueprint, FAA. There are two keywords over here. The common denominator of every runway incursion, and the second keyword is every runway incursion. Air traffic controllers are responsible for 64 million domestic tower operations annually. 64 million. This is just one of them. And while the United States boasts the safest transportation system in the world, our goal is to raise the bar. Our mission is to make it safer. Advanced technology helps, but the real difference still comes down to people, pilots and controllers. So in a world of increased traffic and rapidly advancing technology, what can pilots and controllers do to work more closely, communicate more efficiently, and make the system safer? Whether you ask the top veteran controllers or the most experienced pilots, the answer is always the same, education. From studying flight safety publications and websites to signing up for classroom instruction to learn new procedures and technology, continuing education is the ultimate key to safety. Today, by special invitation from the FAA, we're going to experience a behind the scenes look at air traffic control. Explore how pilots and controllers can work together more efficiently and effectively and examine real-world consequences when breakdowns in communication and lapses in situational awareness occur. Ontario Tower, Decathlon 161, Sierra Alpha, 7 Southwest with Tango, request landing. Decathlon 161 Sierra Alpha, Ontario Tower, enter left downwind for runway 26 left. For pilots, the tower is an icon. Decathlon 161 Sierra The most Alpha, visible left symbol left of air traffic control. For controllers, this is the focal point of local airspace, where the highest concentration of aircraft must be monitored and managed around the clock. Ontario Tower, Decathlon 161 Sierra Alpha, over the ball fields. Decathlon 161 Sierra Alpha, runway 26 left, clear to land. Decathlon 1 Sierra Alpha, contact ground control on 121.9 Hertz. 219, 1 Sierra Alpha. Ontario ground, Decathlon 1 Sierra Alpha at Romeo, request taxi to the GA ramp. Decathlon 1 Sierra Alpha, taxi to General Aviation via November, Uniform, Sierra, hold short runway 26 right at Uniform. Decathlon 1 Sierra Alpha, taxi via November, Uniform, Sierra, hold short runway 26 right at Uniform. Decathlon 1 Sierra Alpha, read back correct. Ontario Southwest 793, 5 mile final, 26 right. Southwest 793, runway 26 right, clear to land. You are clear to land. All right. Clear to land. 400. As pilots navigating congested ground and airspace like this, Situational awareness and proper phraseology are critical to the safety of dozens of aircraft vying for the same ground and airspace. For controllers, clear, concise communication and maximum awareness are essential to managing heavy traffic, a challenge that is complicated by aircraft with differing rates of speed and performance. You've got a lot of airplane taxi and uh, out. Beverly, he isn't stopping. Okay, he's on the runway. He's taxiing on the runway. Whoa. The most critical times of flight are take off and landing. When things happen en route, 
they're not as critical. So when they're most critical is time compressed areas which are right on any vertical phase of flight. Okay guys, I'm gonna freeze you, that was well done. How was that scenario? What are you using? That's a little airplane four on the runway. Huh? Well, I could have used a larger one, but I figured you probably could see it a lot better. Oh, yeah. Southwest does do the same scenario when we train. We have go-rounds because a truck is on the runway or because they have traffic on the runway, and that is called by the simulator instructor, and we do that every six months. Every pilot does that every six months. Wow, thanks for uh, bringing me up to the tower. Oh, my pleasure. Air traffic control demands split-second timing and multitasking skills far beyond any other profession. The bottom line is not about profit and loss. The bottom line is life and death. What can pilots and controllers do in terminal operations to make things less stressful, more efficient, safer? That's easy. Education. They can educate themselves and other people. Controllers should never stop learning. Pilots should never stop learning. Whether I'm working in a control tower or flying an airplane, it is important that I never treat the same situation as though it was fixed. Everything always changes. You need to educate yourself. If you keep learning about what it is that you do and what other people do, you'll be far better off. Dr. Najah Muscati at the University of Southern California is one of the foremost authorities on human factors and aviation safety. The major or biggest contributor to aviation safety is knowledge knowledge about human factors, the knowledge about human performance, the knowledge about fatigue, the knowledge about psychological factors in, in signal detection or noise and that. The only way that you can gain this knowledge is by educating yourself continuously. Where does this knowledge come from? Part of this knowledge is the technical knowledge, the expertise of flying aircraft, being able to read the chart, knowing your IFR, instrument landing, and that. The other important component of the knowledge is the knowledge that you will gain by knowing the whole system. The system, quite simply, is the tightly choreographed dance that transpires between pilots and controllers. And the system works. Most of the time, it works incredibly well. But we do experience lapses in awareness. There remain flaws in operations and breakdowns in communication. One such incident.